Hi, this is Darren Lyle. Well, let's take a look at making some more shape keys, um, and let's work on the mouth. I think for the mouth, what I'd like to do is create the mouth open shape key first. And once I've got that made, then that'll help me get inside the mouth and select points a little easier. So really, I think the mouth open is probably the hardest one. But once you get it done, then you've got um, the ability to open the mouth easily and select points as needed. So let's work on that. For the mouth, I think I probably want to be in wireframe mode for this. Um, and we're seeing all of the subdivisions here. So I'm going to go over to the modifiers tab and turn on optimal display. And that'll just allow us to see the original edges of the model. And I'll hit the 3 key to go into side view and the 5 key to go into orthographic view. And let's take a look at selecting the points to open the character's mouth. I'm going to go to vertex mode here. And to select what we're going to use to open the mouth. This is always an interesting part. Um, I'm going to hold the control key down and click and drag to draw out a lasso of the points that I think need to be part of the mouth opening shape key here. Now to test that, what I'm going to do is I need to move the 3D cursor to the point of his jaw that would where the rotation would be. So we have our jawbone kind of, uh, I don't know, down here. I'm going to just click right here to bring the 3D cursor to that point. And then I'm going to change my pivot point to 3D cursor. So now when I change to the rotation tool here, if I rotate from this point, you kind of see the mouth begins to rotate down and open. Now this is going to be really ugly, so <laughs> bear with me here. So I'm going to turn them around and we're going to need to do some point pulling here. Um, to do this, what I should do is go over here to the Options tab and turn on X Mirror. And so what I'll hopefully be able to do is select a point here. And as I select a point, it will mirror on the other side. So I'm going to also turn on the Proportional Editing tool right down here. That The shortcut for this is O, but I'll turn on Connected. If I turned on Enable, it would also move the teeth. But if I turn on Connected, the range of the pr Proportional Editing tool will only affect the points that are directly connected to the selected point. So I'm going to switch my pivot point back to median. And let's see what we can do here. So if I hit the G key, I can scroll the mouse wheel and see how big the influence is. And I'll maybe go like that. And now I can begin trying to shape these points so it looks like a better mouth open. Now, once again, I've got a mirror in front of me. So if you hear me opening my mouth like, ah, <laughs> you'll know that I'm trying to see what it should look like in the mirror here. So I'm going to take that influence down a bit and just begin working on the points around the mouth here. So this is just a process and oftentimes a painful process of going through and pulling points around until you get it just the way you want it. And I'll take these lips here and kind of move them back just a little bit. Let's see how this looks now. I will go back to object mode and then drag the value slider here and see what, how we're doing getting there. I feel like it could go a little bit more extreme. We could push it a little bit more. And maybe the cheeks collapse a little too much on the sides here. All right, let's take a look at this. Maybe this will work. I'm going to go back to object mode 
and then I'm going to drag the value slider up. And yeah, that doesn't look too bad. I might be able to push it even a little bit more, but let's go ahead and go with this for now. We could also try and uh, uh, take a brow up and see if he looks surprised. There we go. Well, how about a mouth smile? Let's work on that. This is one of the reasons right here why we did the um, edge flow of the face the way we did. The way the mouth pulls here during a smile, it really will pull along this edge here and along this edge as it pulls up. And then for a mouth going kind of wide and flat, it'll pull along this edge. And for a frown, it'll pull down along this edge. So we've hopefully created geometry that will allow us to create these shape keys in a more realistic fashion. So let's, let's give it a try. So I'll click on the plus, change this to uh, mouth smile. All right, so let's go to edit mode. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this edge here. And it's going back a little far. Maybe I'll deselect this. And what we can do, hopefully, is scale this edge back in line with these with these points here. So actually let me select this vertex and press shift S and snap the cursor to the selected. So my cursor is is now at that point. And then I'll select that edge, maybe deselect that one here. And if I switch to move the pivot point to the 3D cursor and then to my scale, what I can do is, let's see if this actually works here, I'm going to increase the influence of the proportional editing tool here, and then if I hit S, let's see how this works here, I'm going to hit S and scale a bit, and see how I can bring him out like that. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to try and scale some more. Let's see what we can do here. We can, we can also we can scale out here. And then what we could do, let's see if this will work. I'm going to change the pivot point to this vertex up here. Select that um, edge and then try and scale this and see if we can get a little raise up here, something like that. Okay, so let's see how this looks. He, he kind of looks like a crazed clown here, but we can work on that. And I'm going to change the pivot point back to medium. And I'll bring that way down, like so maybe. And then move, try and move the nose back to where it should be. So that's a more reasonable stretch for the nose there. I think it still needs to come up a bit toward the eye. So I'll work on that. And maybe I'll bring the nose back in just a little bit more over here. I think the cheeks could scrunch up a little bit more as the mouth comes back. For this particular shape key, I think I want this one to be with the lips closed. And it looks like when I smile that the upper lip goes up and the bottom lip comes up to meet it. So I'll bring this bottom lip up a bit. See if I can close that up. So you may be wondering why if I've named this particular shape key mouth smile underscore L, why I'm modeling both sides of the smile? Well, that's a good question. There are two ways to create mirrored shape keys in Blender. One is to create one side, so model a shape key on one side, like the brow or the blink, and then mirror it over to the other side. The other way to do that is to create a shape key for both sides right up front and then create 
vertex groups to define what side the blend shape influences. So I've got this mouth smile underscore L. I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate it by taking the, the value all the way up to 1 and then going to new shape from mix and I'll call this one mouth smile underscore R. Now we've got two shape keys that are exactly the same. How do we split them off to one side of the character or the other? To do that we're going to use vertex groups right up here. And we created lots of vertex groups when we were rigging the, the character um, to define what vertices would be influenced by what bone. But we are going to go ahead and create two more here. So to do that I'm going to go to my front view and go straight to wireframe mode here. And then I want to go to edit mode and vertex mode. So what I'm going to do is drag select with the border select tool. I hit the B key and I am just going to drag select everything on one side of the character, say on the character's right side. And then I'm going to come over here and create a new vertex group. I'll call this character right. I'll then do the same thing for the other side. Let me first click assign here. So that will assign those vertices to this vertex group. So if I hit deselect, it will deselect them. If I hit select, then hopefully we'll see the ones we selected. Now what I've done is I've created or added those vertices with a weight of 1 or 100%. All right, so what I'm going to do is select the other side right here. And I'll create another vertex group and I'll call this character left and hit assign. Now, the last thing I want to do here is come in and grab this center line. I'm going to press Alt Select and select the center line of vertices down the center of the head. So now that I have the vertices down the center of the character here, what I'm going to do is come back to, say, the right side, take the weight down to 0.5, and hit assign. And I'll do the same thing for the left side at weight 0.5. I'll hit assign. All right, so now that we have those selected and assigned, I'm going to take the mouth smile up to 100%. Okay. And then right down here in this vertex weight group, I'm going to click on that and assign the character left side. So see how now this shape key only affects what is being influenced by the left vertex group. So now I'm going to do the same thing for the for the right side. Select that, go to my vertex weight group, and select the right side. Now when I do that, it only affects the right side. So what I'll do is take one of these, take it all the way up, I'll take away the vertex group, and I'll go ahead and do new shape key from mix. Call this just mouth smile. And now I'll assign my vertex group back to this one here. So now what I have is I have the full mouth smile. And then I also have control of each side. So I can give him maybe a little smirk on one side and then add the full smile here. 
All right, so there we have two different ways of creating uh, shape keys for our character. One to create the individual sides, and two to create both sides, and then establish vertex groups to define which side it influences. Well, in the next video, we'll create a few more shape keys, but then we'll begin actually creating control objects for the face to control and drive our shape keys. So thanks for watching. See you then.